Samsung announces their Galaxy Note 3 10.1 and Galaxy Gear. Sony announces the Xperia Z1 along with their camera lenses. And Google's LG Nexus 5 just got leaked on video. I'm Jaime Rivera, and I wonder if Android's next slogan will be, give me a break with that Kit Kat bar? This is Pocket Now Daily. You know, I wish I could say let's start it off with the product releases, but today has been just about that. Let's start with Sony as we finally get their Sony Xperia Z1 along with their CyberShot QX series. And yes, the Z1 is everything that we heard on leaks. It's a 5 inch display with an aluminum chassis, a 20 megapixel camera. Links in the description for details. But then again, this CyberShot QX series was really one of those great ideas that Sony came up with, great design and all, as long as you don't hear about the price tag, which is actually the sad part of everything links in the description for details again it could probably be for you but then again it's like buying another smartphone now moving over to rumor mill a cool tradition that google has is to have this party for employees whenever they bring a new version of android and they had this whole front lawn thing with the kit kat statue arriving but i think google wasn't aware that their employees were going to film everything and some of these were using nexus 5s yes we finally get it on camera it took a while to get the video because google pulled it from almost everywhere and as it turns out it looks a lot like the nexus 7 when it comes to design and we do see a big lg logo at the back so it's only a matter of weeks, I guess. Now on the negative side, the company that does not see a break lately is HTC. We praised their HTC One as probably one of the best smartphones of the year, but sadly their revenues are not speaking the same language. They're currently down 45% when it comes to revenues compared to last year. And if we all remember, the results of May were even worse. So it's really hard to know if Peter Chow will end up stepping down as CEO of the company as he promised that the HTC One would not be the break that they were looking for. It would be sad news to see that, but it does seem like things are going in that direction. Now, another company that's struggling to sell phones, at least outside the United States, is Motorola with their Moto X. You'd assume that the customizable phone would be popular, but it turns out that since it's exclusive to AT&T and customizations, yeah, the rest of the countries and carriers are stuck buying that thing in black or white, and it seems that people don't like it. First of all, it started at $200 on a contract. Now it's $189, and it's dropping to $149. And according to tipsters, it's going to drop to $100 outside the United States. And even within the United States, there's apparently only AT&T showing some good numbers. We have nothing official just yet, so stay tuned, but it would be good if Motorola found a break with this phone. It's actually a good phone. And finally, for the hot news of the day, Samsung has unveiled three different products today. The Galaxy Note 10.1, which brings the screen resolution with the Nexus 10, only that with an S Pen and with TouchWiz. Sad for that touch was part, but then again, the Galaxy Gear was also announced and it's actually not as ugly as we thought. It actually allows you to make phone calls relate through your phone and everything. And it's, you know, kind of interesting. Michael Fisher loved it on the video. Make sure you watch the links in the description. But then again, the price range is kind of difficult since it's more expensive than an Nexus 4 and possibly the Nexus 5. Now, in the case of the Galaxy Note 3, that phone did take us by surprise. We're expecting a bigger Galaxy S4 and that was it. And well, they ditched the hyperglaze and they improved the phone in a lot of parts so we are expecting this to be a really good phone really compelling so that leads me to the question of the day did you like any of these three products the note 10.1 the galaxy gear or the galaxy note 3 in my particular case honestly i didn't like the first two that much but the galaxy note 3 is definitely a phone that i'm getting so leave us a comment down below what did you think Friends, as always, for an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter at Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. See you tomorrow as our IFA coverage has just begun. We've got a lot more coming soon.